Okay, so uh, let's start off with discovered check. So let's just look at this basic example, okay? So we are playing white and we have a queen and a bishop. This is just like a, a random position I made. It, this might not happen in your real game, but it's basically the same concept, right? So uh, we have a queen and bishop and the uh, opponent has a rook and bishop. So in this case, you can see that our queen is in the same file, right? File is going up and down and ranks are going side to side. So our queen is in the same file as the opponent's king. And this is very dangerous because when this happens, our opponent is very likely uh, I going to get checked or we're going to use what we call a discovered check, which is what we're going to look at right now, to win material. So let's say we are white in this position. So basically, what a discovered check is, is when you move the piece in front of the like piece that's like, going to give the check, right? So like, you see how this queen would be giving check, but there's a bishop blocking the queen, right? So if we move the bishop, then it's check, right? So that's basically the basic concept of a discovered check. And the reason it's called discovered check is because it's like you've discovered that there is a check right here. Okay, so that is what a discovered check is. Does anybody have any questions on that? No? Alright. So now we have, uh, we've learned what a discovered check is, right? This And this can also work as a discovered attack. And we'll see a few positions of those uh, later on, but it's essentially the same concept. So if we have a discovered check right here, like let's say we can the bishop to g2, and it's a check, right? We're attacking the king. So what would be the best discovered check to give? The one that will allow us to win material. Aroma. Okay, so Roma says bishop to c6. Does anybody have a different answer? Uh, Elizabeth? So bishop to f3, okay. Alright, how about uh, one more guess? Now, l let me give you guys a hint, okay? So if we want to win material, right? So if we want to win material, we need to attack a piece. So... Like we saw, bishop g2, is this attacking any piece? No, right? It's not attacking any black piece. So the best discovered check would be attacking the rook or bishop. All right, just think about that. So there's not exactly, there's not one move that's just like, is better than all the others. There's a few moves that are really good. But we need a bishop move that can attack either the opponent's rook or the opponent's bishop. Uh, Shar? Okay, bishop to d3, yeah. That's one possibility, right? We're attacking the rook. Okay, uh, Roma? Okay, uh, Hita? Alright, so nice. Uh, yeah, bishop to d3 is one possibility. So, but there are others, right? So, like, instead of bishop to d3, you could go bishop to b7, because we're attacking the rook and the bishop. 
and we can go bishop to f5 because we're attacking the bishop right so these are just three possibilities so now let's see why the other two moves we have don't work so bishop to c6 this is one possibility because i mean we want to look at a discovered a check right and where we win material but this is called a double check so you'll notice that the bishop is giving a check and the queen is giving a check when this happens it's called a double check and here the rules of cbm do not apply so remember we learned about cbm which was does anybody remember what cbm stood for cbm so what happens when you're in check uh volume Nice, good job. So that is what CBM is, right? So capture block move. So when you're in check, so let's say over here, right? So one, you can capture the piece that is attacking the king, right? So can you do that? No, the queen is not be, being attacked by any of the black pieces. Two, you can block the check with one of your pieces. So like you can move your bishop here. Or three, you can move the king. So like you just move the king over there. Those are the three ways that you can stop a check. All right. So it's CBM. So that's pretty important to remember because there's uh, if you know that, then anytime you're in check, you could just quickly apply those rules and find the best way to get out of check. OK, so now we have. But why? What? Why does CBM not apply here? So a bishop to C6 and queen to e2 right they have they're both giving check so when this happens uh, you you can't capture both of these pieces at the same time right you can't capture them both in one move so capture doesn't work okay how about we try to block so if we block the bishop then the queen is giving check if we block the queen the bishop's giving check it doesn't work either so the only one that works in cbm when it's a double check or when two of your opponent's pieces are attacking your king is move. You have to move your king. There's no other possibility. All right. So does everybody understand that? All right. Nice. So yeah, double check. This is a uh, similar to discovered check. All right. So bishop to c6, yes, it's a possibility. All right, bishop to f3. The problem with bishop to f3 is you can see that it's not exactly attacking any black piece, right? It has, it's controlling a lot of squares, and you get a discovered check, but it's not exactly attacking any black piece. And what we want in this position is to be able to attack the rook or the bishop and uh, win one of these pieces. Okay, what about bishop to d3? Now, this is a good move, right? We're attacking the rook and we're giving check. So, no matter what they do, we'll be able to take the rook. Same with bishop to b7. Now, let's say they decide to block. Then, we can use our queen or our bishop to take the rook. Finally, bishop to f5. Now, we're attacking the bishop and oh, we're attacking the king. So, the king moves then we can take the bishop and if they take back then we can take the rook now you might be wondering what is the best move for black here in fact bishop to d3 and bishop to b7 aren't exactly the best moves possible because they make it a bit more complicated what is the best move for black in this position think about cbm and then think about the discovered check and what it's being attacked. And then I think you'll be able to find the correct move for black. Uh, volume. All right, so does anybody have a different answer? Ahitha? 
Okay, so yeah, this is correct. So rook to e6. Now why is this the best move? So, uh, now you'll see that when it was discovered check, we moved the bishop to a place that we could attack the rook, right? So, now if we move our king, then the opponent's going to take the rook, right? But if we move our rook, we can't because the king is in check. But now let's think about CBM. So capture block move. So can we capture the queen? No. Can we block the queen? Yes, there are two moves to block the queen's check, right? We have bishop to e6, we have rook to e6. And we already know that moving the king isn't going to get us anywhere, because it's just going to lose our rook. So, if we play rook to e6, now our, ro our rook is no longer attacked, and we're blocking the check, so it's a win-win, right? So now, that means we saved our rook, and all both of our pieces, so then we're in a safer position now. Obviously, since white has an extra queen, he's probably going to win this game. But at least we prolonged it, right? Okay, so does anybody have any questions about this example? Oh, okay, actually, I think we need to look at why... It's the same thing with bishop b7, by the way. You can still go rook to e6, and then attacking the queen. So... But why does bishop to f5 work? Now you'll notice that he can't play rook d6, right? Or, like, if he can, but, like, we'll just take with our bishop. So, instead, he has to move his bishop to block, or he has to move his king. Now, instead of attacking the rook in this case, our bishop is attacking the opponent's bishop, right? Now, this is still fine. We're still, it's not like we need to take the highest value piece. As long as we take one of our opponent's pieces, that means we have an even better chance of winning, right? So, here, we're attacking the opponent's bishop. Bishop. Yeah. So, if they try to defend the bishop, we can still take. Because, you'll notice here, the bishop was defending the rook. So if we take the bishop, there's nothing defending the rook. And what piece is attacking the opponent's rook? It's the queen. So then we'd be winning. Alright, so does anybody have any questions on this example? No? Alright, so let's move on to the next one. So this position is like, it's a common thing that you could get in your actual game. Now, obviously, you're going to have, like, a lot of pieces here, and then your opponent's going to have pieces here, right? Somewhere around here. But this is just, like, the basic setup. So you can get this kind of position in the game. And this is called a fianchetto. It's when your bishop is surrounded by three pawns. And the reason that's so powerful is because the bishop controls all the squares around the pawn, so it has, like, a lot of mobility. You don't really need to know the term fianchetto. It's just, like, an extra term. But yeah, you just like need to make sure that if your opponent has a bishop surrounded by three pawns, you need to be careful because of something like this. So you'll notice that this king, it castled, right? But then he moved, uh, the opponent moved the pawn to g6, and then the king came up to g7, right? So now, we are going to try and attack this king. So... The reason a Fian Keto bishop, or a bishop surrounded by three pawns, is so powerful is because it has a lot of mobility. So, this bishop, if it wasn't for this knight, it would be giving check, right? So now, that means we want to move the knight. So, there's, an, again, a few options here that are correct. What is one way to move this knight and win some material? Uh, Hita? Okay, so Hita says knight to a4. Uh, anybody have a different answer? No? 
All right, yeah, so knight to a4 is one way to give a check, right? Because now we're giving a discovered check, and once the king uses CBM, and let's say they move, right? Then our knight is attacking this bishop, so we can take. Now you might be asking, after this check, why can't, like before, the bishop block the check, right? Because now it's no longer attacked, and we're blocking the check. The problem here is, can anybody figure out the best move for a white in this position? Uh, Roma? Exactly, right? So this bishop is not being defended by anything. So we can take. Now in the previous example, right? Previous example, okay. So you'll notice that when we played rook to e6 after bishop to d3, this rook was still defended by this bishop, right? So the queen can't take, or else it would just be, you know, our opponent would give up a queen for a rook, and that's not good, because a queen is worth more, right? So we move the rook, and the rook is being defended by the bishop. So that's why this worked. But in this case, when we played our bishop to d4, sorry, our bishop to d4, this bishop is not being defended by any piece. And what that means is we can just take it, and now we're ahead one piece. Now we should be able to use this to eventually win the game in that game. Okay, so now we've um, the, we've seen this example. However, there are like a few other possibilities. You could also go here for the check, right? Because even though our knight is being attacked, right? Like, black can't take this knight because the bishop is giving the check. Alright? So that's knight d5 still works. We can remember, don't. If we capture the knight, then black can just capture back. So then that wouldn't be really useful to us. But here, there's an even better move than knight takes b6. Can anybody find the best move in this position? Because we know that knight takes b6, we're up a bishop. But there's an even better move here. I'll just uh, wait like another minute or so. All right, uh, let's start with Hita and then Roma next. Okay, so Hita says knight e7. Uh, Roma, do you have a different answer? All right, yeah, so knight to e7. And now why is this such a good move? This is actually checkmate, right? So, this bishop is defending all of these squares, right? So, that basically means the king can't move. King is stuck, because his own pieces are defending these squares, and then these two squares are defended by our bishop. That means, with this knight check, the king cannot move. Since the knight's not attacked, it can't get, be captured. And remember, you can't block a knight check. That's another special thing about the knight. Right, so this is checkmate. So that's a, so we have to watch out for discovered checks like this, and we always have to be looking for a better move. If we see a good move, look for a better one. All right. Now let's move on to the final position. This one I'm not going to give you guys any help. Okay, so in this position, White played the move uh, a4. Now it's black to play and find the best move for black. I flipped the board. Now I'll give you guys until 5.56, so that's two minutes. And you have to find the best move in this position.
And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go get like water, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so, uh, looks like we have some answers. Uh, Amanda? Or, I think your name is Shahar, right? Yeah. Uh, remember, it is black to play in this position, because white just played the move a4, so it is black to play. Alright, so how about Roma? Okay, so uh, Roma says knight e to c6. Alright, uh, how about Elizabeth? Wait, Elizabeth, did you raise your hand? Uh, in this position, what is the best move for black? All right, so you also say knight e to c6. Okay, so does anybody have a different answer? Because remember, with discovered checks, there can, there sometimes is more than one correct answer. Uh, volume? All right, and volume is says knight to g4. Okay, so now let's look at these two options. So knight e to g4, well, it is a, a discovered check, right? The problem is we're not attacking any piece. So you see that even though we're given this discovered check, our knight is only attacking pawns, and both these pawns are defended. So unfortunately, this is not the correct option. So if I haven't explained this before, the piece that always attacks is the one that like you're moving away from to give the check. So in this position, the knight, once you, it's the piece that's like, the piece behind is giving the check. So it will be the piece that is attacking uh, the opponent's pieces to win the duel, all right? So why does knight to e to c6 work? So uh, we are attacking the white king, right? So it is check. And we are attacking the uh, white queen. So the queen cannot move, right? This can't move anywhere because it'll be in check. So, and this work can't be captured. So there's two options. We can either block the check, right? Somewhere here. Or we can move the king. So if we move the king, that's obviously a horrible move. We'll instantly lose the queen with no like compensation, no extra material. We just lost a full queen. So that's not useful. Or we can block. We can block like here or here. There's multiple ways to block, right? Uh, Imani, do you have a question? 
Oh, you're on mute. Okay, so, uh, maybe that was accidental. Alright, so, uh, now the best move for white, it would probably be to try and block the check, right? But they have to do it with the queen. Because if you do it with the knight, then we're just gonna lose uh, a full queen for free. Alright, so let's say the queen blocks the check, right? And the only way to do that is queen to e4. Now, when the queen blocks this check, it's no longer attacked by the knight, and the check is stopped, right? The problem is, now the queen is attacked by a rook. So we can take the queen when they take back. Now, we have an extra queen for a rook, right? So our opponent has one extra rook, but we have one extra queen. And as we all know, the queen is worth uh, way more than a rook, right? So, uh, this position would be way better for us. So this is like an example of a real life position where this could, this exact position, or well, not this exact position, but some position like this can happen in your game. And you should always be watching out for discovered checks against your king and against the opponent's king. So then you can win some easy material, so then you can win the game. So... There is one other move other than knight e to c6 that works. So, you saw knight e to c6, which works, you're attacking the queen. But there's a way to combine the double check, the fork, and the discovered check. And that is with the move knight to d3. Now, this is a very complicated move, right? Now, this is uh, by far the best move in the position. Because if we saw, in when we played knight to c6... He could block with the queen, and even though we have an extra queen, our opponent has an extra rook, right? With knight to d3, it's a double check, right? It's a double check and a fork. So, what what does a double check mean? So, does anybody remember, what is the only option for our opponent if there's a double check? Oh, volume Exactly. So the only option for our opponent is to move the king, right? That means that they can't block. If they can't block, that means we can just take the queen for free. Now you'll see that we have equal number of pieces, right? All of this is equal. Except we have one extra queen. So that means that we have a huge advantage. We can easily convert this in the end game, right? Alright, so that was this the, our final example on the discovered check. So now, what is the difference between the discovered check and the discovered attack, which is what we're about to look at next, next. So let me just like, so we saw a discovered check has to have the king is the one being the one that is attacked, right? But a discovered attack is the same thing, but instead of a king, it could be like a queen, or it could be like a knight or a bishop, or some other piece, right? So, oh, let's say we had this position. Mm. All right, let's just do this. So this isn't exactly, oh, I messed that up. Okay, so let's say we have this position, right? So now you can see that our rook and the opponent's queen are in the same line. So is there any way... Okay, so I'll pretend there's a pawn right here, okay, defending the rook. So now we saw that in previous cases, th if this was a king, then we could move the knight, and then it'll uh, be... It'll be check right and that means the king has to move capture or block and we'll be able to win some material now it's the same thing in this case so uh let's say we have instead of a king it's just a queen or a different piece 
So, 